Okay, here's the day 118 wrap up. I think this is six. Uh, I took down five again because I just think it's too sensational and not fact based enough. I'm I'm really reporting, although the things I say I, I believe to be true and I believe all the sources involved. I I would like to have more independent verification of the story. Uh, the dying core story in uh, Afghanistan with the uh, with the Navy SEALs. So I'm going to pursue more the documentation here uh, through this whistleblower program, these 190 reports. And you, as you can see, this was the first ever independent audit of our spy agencies. It lasted 742 days, so over two years, and it was immediately shut down when this stone, this this Wayne Stone, came in. Um, and there was a guy there, um, so this is good. Um, this is kind of a, a good overview of the of the facts I've been saying. 190 whistleblowers, 742 days, and the um, this insertion here of this reality winner uh, to kind of be the face of all these folks to take over for these legitimate people that are really having their lives destroyed. And it's the same litany that Task Force talks about: pay cuts. Uh, demotions, uh, loss of job, reprisals after people leave the job, uh, all sorts of uh, accusations about their work and so forth, even after they leave the company and so forth. And now here is the, the executive director of the intelligence community, a guy named McCullough. Uh, if you remember, McCullough was in the news briefly recently, and he was fired immediately as soon as Wayne Stone took over. So. Um, uh, this is the article right here. It says Stone, Stone shut down the whistleblowing inspection, inspection program just days, just days after taking over for Charles, Charles McCullough, who was doing uh, a pretty good job. So um, we, I again, emphasize that Trump needs to replace Stone, get that new approval, and get this report out for the people. Now, here is that company I talked about before, which is this BWX. T. This is the company that was in Lynchburg, Virginia, that um, uh, then moved to Charlotte. Okay, uh, it's a very odd uh, series. It started all the way back in 1951. It was named after a farmer um, whose land that they put the original. Um, it goes through a whole bunch of gas and uh, oil development to finally become this BWXT. But as you can see, they're involved in. Small nuclear reactors, where have you heard that before? Nuclear energy and these rods and so forth, and then the, and then the consultants, and very closely tied with Bechtel. So um, I just want to move to this Empower project. This is the small reactor project that they quietly terminated here um, in, uh, in the last year, in the, in the spring of last year. And this guy named Ron Adams worked there 13 years, so he's a knowledgeable per person. He says he didn't use any information uh, since he's been at the company. But here it is, this looks exactly almost like the small reactors that were developed in the National Nuclear Program. The, the cylindrical design for low footprint, so if, you know, if you're you know, driving by it or whatever, you hardly notice any kind of footprint at all, uh, most of it underground. Okay, So um, interesting, uh, interesting uh, re resemblance to all the other national nucle nuclear reactors. And then finally here, um, the history of it is they got the go-ahead in 2009 for the reactor and then they got a contract with the Tennessee Valley Authority. Uh, funny enough, using uh, smoking uh, indemnification money. I don't know how that's connected. Uh, but it was supposed to go where the old Clinch River breeder reactor, this was the one that was started by Nixon and then Reagan. And you can just see that there's just this continual effort to just keep bringing back these technologies. And if not here in the United States through uh, through resistance, then they just do it in Iran. And I'm I'm convinced that the Iraq reactor in Iran is just basically this Clinch River reactor that they wanted to build here in Tennessee. And this is in Oak Ridge. So they were going to build six of these reactors, small reactors, in Clinch River, which is in actually in the city limits of Oak Ridge. Uh, but for whatever reason, uh, they decided not to do this. I think this is always a sign of thank you very much for the money, but we're going to go do it underground and we're going to sell it to partners overseas. And oh, by the way, we're the FBI doing this, so uh, we don't need to tell anything about it. It's national security. So there's your wrap-up for day 118.